Hey everyone, this is Penny from Wacko Witch Astrology. Today I'm doing a little bit of a follow-up video. You might have seen my videos about MMA and astrology, especially the one about Mars signs and how it affects your fighting style because that is more important than sun signs, but we're going to kind of talk about the signs in general today. So specifically, we all want to know who's the best. Who is the best fighter of the Zodiac? And I'm going to pick my top three. You might have already seen my TikTok video about it because I just made a TikTok. Go ahead and follow it, please, if you want to. And um, yeah, so I mean, before we get into this, obviously, if you want to know whether or not you're the best, go to a gym, train at the gym, train more, train every day, and then sign up for a competition so you can see whether or not you're actually doing better than other people. Don't watch my video just for like ego gratification or whatever. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I personally don't get it. As someone who trains in martial arts and trained very diligently for seven years, I, I don't get it. Why would you watch a video to, um, but yeah, anyway, <laughs> so, uh, the, the use of this video is that it can help you understand your natural talents a little bit more. And if you want to go out and become an athlete, by all means do it and go full out practice every day. And, uh, if you want something to supplement that you have, these now three videos that I've made on the topic. And I have reports on my website for Mars signs that have more kind of like top secret information that really kind of breaks down how your Mars sign can use its advantages and what kinds of disadvantages you might have that you specifically need to work on based on your Mars sign. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to talk about the 12 signs of the Zodiac. And then at the end, I'm going to tell you my top three for which three signs of the Zodiac I think are the best fighters. So Aries, I've chosen two Aries to represent them and I've done the same thing for all signs. Um, and yeah, so Aries is usually kind of all or nothing when it comes to whether or not they're interested in something and martial arts applies here. So we have some Aries who are really, really into martial arts and they become masters and they go on to compete and become world-class athletes and all kinds of amazing things. And then we have Aries out there who actually don't like martial arts at all. Obviously, Aries would have some natural degree of talent and the instinct of war and brutality and being willing to just do what is effective and what is needed in order to win. Even if that means training hard, Aries is also a very hardworking sign. So two of the best Aries uh, martial artists, uh, when it comes specifically to fighting, we're not doing stunts, we're just doing fighting, are Triple G, who's actually on my shirt, he's right here, and Anderson Silva. So I want you to know that Triple... Not right now, Jade, I'm recording a video, okay? okay. Ask Kendall. Sorry about that. So uh, Triple G's Mars sign is in Libra. That's important to note as well. Anderson Silva has Mars in Pisces. So you can kind of add up some points in your head about the other signs involved here. Next, we have Taurus. Um, uh, one of the best Taurus of all times, who's also considered to be one of the best fighters of all times, is George St. Pierre. And he is Sun in Taurus and Mars in Taurus. And then we also have in the boxing world, we have both Sugar Ray Robinson and we have Sugar Ray Leonard. Uh, just a notice, sorry if I pronounce any names wrong, not on purpose, I'm flawed, that's what it is. Um, but both of them were Tauruses. <laughs> so uh, Sugar Ray Robinson has Mars in Taurus in addition to Sun in Taurus. And then Sugar Ray Leonard has Mars in Aquarius which I find to be a fairly common Mars sign for boxers, Mars and Aquarius. So uh, Taurus usually has a lot of power. Oh my gosh. Taurus gets, in the astrology community, gets a bad rap for being lazy. We stereotype them. And I just don't agree with mo what most people say about Taurus because, yeah, you might like cheese, you might like ice cream, but the Tauruses who are athletic are some of the most fit, most powerful uh, most able to perform athletes I have ever seen. So I think it's Taurus is a really good sign for power and for athleticism and consistency in performing, which ultimately consistency does equate to skill. Next we have Gemini. 
One of my favorite Geminis is Amanda Nunes, and she's now being considered to be one of the best fighters of all time. Uh, if you're not familiar with her, at least for the feel good aspect of it, like go see the way she talks about her wife, go look at pictures of her baby. Like I love Amanda Nunes, <laughs> but uh, she is a Gemini with Mars in Pisces. And then we have Roberto Duran, who is a Gemini with Mars in Gemini. So Gemini is very versatile, um, very, very intellectual, very willing to study, very willing to pick up on new skills and, you know, just take what's useful here and there and adapt it. So they're more likely to kind of merge different martial arts styles into something a little bit more cohesive. That's why they specifically do well in MMA. Um, I, I think I've pointed this out in another video. The hardest I've ever been hit by was a Gemini. She was a female Gemini who was smaller than me and she hit me in the face with a spinning back kick. So I know the power of Gemini better than most people do, <laughs> but Gemini uh, can be an awesome sign for martial arts and Gemini has a short attention span though. So some Geminis are gonna like come into class and they're gonna be like, oh, that was really fun. I should do that again. And then they're like, not gonna do it again because they get distracted by something else. But if you find a Gemini who's consistent, they are very good at developing those skills. Next we have Cancer. So it was so hard to pick only two Cancers. So many of the best Cancers in boxing especially, but also in MMA. Um, so, so many of the best boxers, I said best Cancers, but you know what I meant? <laughs> so many of the best boxers and MMA fighters, like to me of all time, like Canelo Alvarez. I, I'm a Canelo Alvarez fan, you know. Um, but <laughs> uh, so many of them are cancers. So I, I picked two, but I'll go ahead and tell you some others too, maybe if they come up. Uh, John Jones, who has Mars in Leo, and Mike Tyson, who has Mars in Gemini. So there's also uh, Conor McGregor. He was really big and uh, a lot of people are fans of him and all that stuff. And um, yeah, it's, it, if you start looking at boxers, cancer is a really common sign. In MMA, it's pretty common as well. And if, if you have a good instructor, he will tell you that one of the best ways to get an advantage on your opponent is to move to the side so that you can look in their ear. If you can see the inside of your opponent's ear, which you shouldn't really be focusing on that, but like as a concept, if you can see the inside of your opponent's ear, you have an advantage and basically you're in a position where you can finish them right then and there. Cancer is the crab, so it's the sideways movement sign of the zodiac, if you will. It's also a very intuitive sign, which is what makes cancers such great fighters and so common in the MMA, boxing, and overall martial arts world. Next, we have Leo. And uh, the first one I picked was Demetrius Johnson. He is a Leo with Mars and Capricorn. And even though this isn't one of the ones I picked, I also want to point out that Misha Tate, who uh, was a UFC champion for a short while, um, Misha Tate is also a Leo with Mars and Capricorn. So I'm led to believe that's a good combo. Um, and then the other one I picked for Leo was Stipe. Uh, Mio, Mio, Mio kick? Mio sick. I, I don't know which one it is, uh, but he has Mars in Scorpio. So Leo loves to show off. Leo loves to be loved. And I do think that we are one of the signs who will likely get into martial arts and competing for the emotional gratification of it. And just out of the fact that it's something that we enjoy doing. Uh, Leo can also be a very athletic sign, a very powerful sign, uh, similar to the power of Taurus, but your Leo athletes might have more of a speed advantage where your Taurus athletes are more likely to have a power advantage. Next, we have Virgo, um, a, a name that I'm almost definitely going to say wrong, Khabib, I can say the first name. And then the last name is Nurmagomedov. <laughs> Okay, so Khabib, and his Mars sign is in Aries. And then we also have Jose Aldo, and his Mars sign is in Capricorn. So Virgo is a, a perfectionist sign. It's a sign of perfectionism. So when, when they do something, they want to do it right. They want to be very precise. They want to make sure that they can hit the point that they meant to hit. They might be a little bit like of a control freak in the way that they train and the way that they plan. 
And sometimes it might be hard for them to let go of that idea of controlling the fight and trying to make it end exactly the way they want to and, you know, trying to stick to the plan. Because uh, great quote from Mike Tyson here, everyone has a plan to they get punched in the mouth. And that's kind of how fighting goes. You can't always stick to the plan. Um, but yeah, Virgo, Virgo can be a skilled athlete, of course. Uh, next we have Libra and we have Fedor Emelianenko. <laughs> Emelianenko. Yeah, I can't say it. Sorry. Um, he is a Libra who has Mars in Libra. And then another Libra is Frankie Edgar, and he has Mars in Leo. So uh, Libra is one of the cardinal signs. And I notice when I go to a martial arts gym, it's so much easier for me to find cardinal signs than any other sign mode. Cardinal signs are just so much more common in the martial arts world. I think they like the like defined discipline of it. And um, yeah, all that kind of stuff. I think they all have like kind of a different reason to be attracted to it. But um, Libras. Libras like, see, I, I know so many Libras who are so good at martial arts, but it's hard for me to really explain them. And I, I think part of it is that they really like learning. They genuinely like learning more things of martial, more things from martial arts. So if you want a really, really like overall knowledgeable martial artist who has, you know, skills from a variety of styles, who, you know, has like a really great, amazing mind for martial arts. Libra is like the sign for that. When it comes to actual like physical fighting, they tend to uh, very much care about what is fair and what isn't. Like, did we agree to a set of rules? If so, I'm going to stick to it. If we did not agree to a set of rules, I'm not going to stick to it. If you broke the rules, then I think it's fair for me to break the rules too. So Libra likes being able to balance things out. Um, and in terms of them being so so amazingly skilled and all that, uh, one of my favorite martial arts instructors is Rudy Vasquez. He's in Austin, Texas, and he is on the Martial Arts Hall of Fame. If you are in the South Austin area, you should go check out his gym because I love it. I love it so much. Uh, next, we are moving on to Scorpio. And one of the best Scorpio fighters I could find is Carlos Machado. So Carlos Machado um, is like a, a huge icon in the jujitsu world. He's very famous. And um, I <laughs> was already familiar with the name because my instructor, Rudy, recently started uh, training under his lineage. So it's a, his gym is now a Carlos Machado gym. Um, so, and then the other Scorpio I have is Lucas Kerpalik. My husband can pronounce it. <laughs> I asked him to be in the video, but he wouldn't do it. So I have to say it myself. Okay, but Carlos Machado has Mars and Sagittarius. Lucas Kerpelik has Mars in Gemini. So uh, Scorpio, I feel like, is often turned off by the idea of fighting in MMA and fighting in boxing because Scorpio is a more primal sign and it might be hard for them to accept the idea that there are rules, you know, kind of like the opposite of Libra in this way. It might be hard for them to accept the idea that there are rules and then like willingly agree to operate within that discipline. I still know plenty of great Scorpio athletes personally, but I just noticed they're not as common overall. So yes, they definitely exist. They're not as common though. And um, the the primal instincts and the intuition of Scorpio can be very useful when they do decide to compete, but most of them are not as interested in competing in a sportified version of martial arts like so many other people are. Next, we have Sagittarius. So first one, Max Holloway. He has Mars in Sagittarius as well as Sun in Sagittarius. And then we have BJ Penn who has Mars in Capricorn. So Sagittarius, um, I'm so annoyed with this sign as a whole because on my other video, I'm getting so many comments from people who don't know what they're talking about, who have probably never trained in martial arts, who are leaving me comments where they wanted me to make it sound like they are the best fighters. Most of the gyms I have been to don't even have a single Sagittarius who is showing up for classes. 
okay? It, it took a while for me to actually start meeting Sagittarians at the gyms I've trained at, and I have trained at a lot of gyms. At the time I made the video, I had not sparred a single Sagittarius in my entire life, even though I was training every single day. Um, it's possible that there's some people whose birthdays I didn't know. You know, sometimes I just meet a stranger. I don't do any introduction. I just spar them. But um, yeah, so Sagittarius, I'm just really going to call you out for that. And I'm going to say that because of that, uh, because of that, I don't really have much else to say. If you want to be good Sagittarius, go train at a gym. Like really just, just go train at a gym. Okay. Like I, I'm not going to fluff up your ego. I understand you want it as bad as I do. I'm a Leo. I like to have my ego fluffed up too, but we're not doing that today. Okay. Capricorn. The next of the, the first Capricorn I chose is Muhammad Ali and he is a Capricorn with Mars and Taurus. So as, as I said, Mars and Taurus is great for power. And then the next one is George Foreman who has Mars in Aquarius. So Capricorn is a very common sign in the martial arts world. Lots of Capricorns love the idea of being able to rank up, being able to improve themselves every day, being to, able to work consistently and see themselves get better and better and better. So they're very motivated when it comes to martial arts. Um, and they, they are fairly intuitive and they're patient and they're also very resilient. So when you see a Capricorn fighter, I feel like a lot of times they at least start out as the underdog and they are, they're good at being able to make a comeback where a lot of fighters, you know, either they had, um, a, a life event that made it difficult for them to continue training, whether it's like a previous loss or they had uh, something else that came up in life and then they start to go downhill from there. A Capricorn's very good at making a comeback. Um, I believe Muhammad Ali was in jail at some point. I'm sorry if I got that wrong. This is just me operating on memory. Um, and he, he came back and he came back and he, um, you know, just really showed who he really is and what he's really about. And I think most of us have, you know, a very good memory, a very good image of him at this point. So yeah, Capricorns. Next we have Aquarius. Uh, first one is Henry Cajudo and his Mars sign is in Aries. And next is Ronda Rousey. So, and her Mars is also in Aries. Uh, so Aquarius is a, a sign that is great at learning, um, often very intelligent, often very good at being able to add on to techniques that they've already been taught, uh, being able to, you know, apply techniques that they were taught in different new and creative ways and being able to operate outside of what we normally would have thought is the way to do things. So if you have Aquarians training at your gym, they're really going to be able to shake some things up. It's going to be interesting. Next we have Pisces. So the first one I chose is Floyd Mayweather. He's very elusive. He's very hard to hit. And he has Mars in Aquarius. Next we have Dominic Cruz and his Mars is in Aries. Pisces is another sign that was just so hard to pick only uh, two fighters. Um, Valentina Shevchenko is also now considered to be one of the best fighters of all time. She is also a Pisces. If I'm remembering her Mars sign right, she has Mars in Capricorn, but it's conjunct Neptune, the ruling planet of Pisces. So she has a lot of very Piscean, very intuitive energy. And uh, Pisces is elusive. They're adaptable. They are in so intuitive. Like they, they know what's coming. They can move like water. They can be such amazing fighters. As I said in my TikTok video, the only thing that really stops Pisces from being like number one across the board is that so many Pisces have um, stuff that's weighing them down, stuff that's in their head, that's getting in the way, that's preventing them from coming to class, that's preventing them from being able to train consistently. But when you have a Pisces that does have the motivation to be disciplined and does train consistently and doesn't doesn't give up, doesn't get wrapped up in the partying or the bad relationships or any of that stuff, then Pisces, I would say, is the best sign for martial arts, for competitive fighting, and probably for street fighting too. I don't have as much data on street fighting though. I mean, how would I even have that? Um, 
I do think that like MMA translates to street fighting fairly well. I think a lot of people like to pretend that it doesn't, but I do think it does inevitably. And um, yeah, Pisces, however, is number two. I had to give Cancer number one because Cancer is the sign that I actually see more often succeeding as fighters and uh, making, making big accomplishments. And there's definitely some amazing Pisces athletes out there, but just based on what is more common, I had to give Cancer number one. So first is Cancer, second is Pisces, and third is the one you probably expected to be first if you're familiar with astrological stereotypes, and that is Aries, the god of war. And yes, we see so many amazing Aries athletes in martial arts. We see so many amazing uh, gym owners and martial arts masters who are Aries. And then we also see many other fighters who have Mars in Aries, Moon in Aries. It's a very common sign, but so is Pisces and so is Cancer. If I had to say that there's like one single placement that I feel I mean, you know, one sign, the one sign I would pick is Pisces, but like one single placement that I'm like, yes, you are going to be an amazing fighter. It's Mars in Pisces. Like when, when I see Mars in Pisces, I see uh, if they're willing to train so much potential because we have Anderson Silva, who was an Aries, but has Mars in Pisces. And we have Amanda Nunes, who is a Gemini, but has Mars in Pisces. And then uh, so many others who have Mars and Capricorn, but they have Neptune conjunct. So it has that kind of like Pisces energy. Mars in uh, Taurus is also a really good one too. And then Mars in Aries. So that, those would probably be the top three Mars signs that I would pick. Um, I would probably put Mars and Pisces first. And then I would put Mars and Aries second. And then I would put Mars in Gemini Third. So as I said at the beginning of the video, if you want to train in martial arts, if you want to be an athlete, believe in yourself, train every day and train as if I just told you, you have the potential to be the absolute best as long as you train every day, because that is the actual truth of it. If you want to use the content I've made as supplemental material to help you improve and to help you build up your skills. Great. That's awesome. Like I said, I also have the reports. I'll have the link in the description below. And thank you so much for watching my video. If you want to see me again, hit the subscribe button. Bye.